Welcome back everybody. I recently won these three lots at an auction, a local uh, estate auction online, and I'll go over what we got. Okay, first up is lot 802. 802 is described as snap-on wrenches and other wrenches, and I won that lot for $30. So with fees and everything, it's closer to $40. Uh, in the picture, I could see that these were not snap on i didn't know if they had any brand name on them and they don't um their old mit i believe that's the old mit logo and we in this box we have this uh 10 millimeter good size a double box wrench and one end is ratcheting so always good to have a, a 10 mil somebody's looking for that right now all right then we have a double open end or maybe just call it open end uh, 15 16 and a one inch snap-on and then last up in this box is a five piece set of uh, snap-on box end offset wrenches SAE uh, that would be 10 sizes total so it's not a complete set but it, it's most of a set I believe that the $30 I, I paid for the box was was worth it with just these wrenches alone I mean six dollars a wrench it's pretty cheap for wrenches like that Almost 97% of our viewers are not subscribed. Become a subscriber today. It really helps out the channel. Thank you. Okay, moving on is uh, lot number 803. And 803 is mostly Mac and Snap-on screwdrivers. I paid $22 for this box. At most auctions, you're gonna pay up for some stuff. You're going to lose out on items. And then there's gonna be some that slip through the cracks. And I think this is one of them. Um, I can't imagine why no one pushed this well over the, the money I spent on it. Um, first up in this bag here, I don't, I think this bag is actually, oh no, it's not sealed, it's got a hole in it, so I'll dump these out. So in that bag was these snap-on bits. And I know at least uh, the two on the end here are for a carburetor adjusting tool. Um, the flat tip I don't think is for that, but I could be wrong. And then the other piece I dropped here is this small uh, hex socket. And that might also be for adjusting. But those four bits were in that bag. To me, those four bits alone are almost w worth what I paid for the, the box. So this is obviously a no-name little pick that was in there. There's another one here, another one here. So those are just kind of trash, but I mean, I'll still put them in my box and because you break these picks a lot, so it's always good to have a couple spares. I think these are Stanley screwdrivers. Oh, they're popular mechanics. They are US made, or that's actually an old pick. See, that one's broken already, so. And this one's not, so I'll keep that one as well. Looks like there's a little tester in here for coolant. And is this a... I think this is a pick, but it's broken. It's a Matco. Uh, broken on this end, and this end still looks good. And I think those screw out so you could easily get a new end on there, just sharpen it to a point, use it as a point. This one here, I'm not sure if this is a snap-on um, fiddle focus in there. You can see USA. But that's not usually the position they put the USA. It does have a, a snap-on looking handle and it has a snap-on looking shank. Um, I don't know if they made orange handles in this style though. Um, this is the, the older style square uh, compared to the newer style. So I don't know if they had orange in this series. I don't know if this is snap-on. If I looked real close under a magnifying glass, I might be able to make out snap-on. I'm thinking it's not though. And it also has a broken tip. All right, next up is this uh, little gasket scraper. This is a snap-on. There's this very long Mac screwdriver. I believe they call this a cabinet screwdriver. That's where the tip doesn't flare out. It's uh, straight all the way down. Versus a tip like this is where it gets wider as it goes further down. This looks like another broken screwdriver. It is. It's a snap-on. 
Now I don't get these replaced. Um, I'll, I usually just lot them up and sell them all as broken. And if there's a rep out there that's buying lots, they'll pick it up. Or somebody that buys broken stuff and turns them in, they'll pick it up. I, I don't feel the best about doing stuff like that, so I don't do it. But uh, it's also a pretty nice handle where I could just keep the handle around. And uh, if I got a bad handle and a good shank on a different screwdriver, I'll just switch it out. All right, moving on, we have this uh, Snap-on. That was an MD-18A. It's not focusing, is it? Oh, there it goes. I do believe this is also a carburetor adjustment tool. It's got a little ball hex on the end there. Then we got a couple of these giveaway uh, pocket screwdrivers. So you got two. Oh, that's a Mac. So we got three of those. I don't know if this is a. Oh, it is a Mac. I was gonna say I'm not sure if it's a Mac. I don't remember seeing a yellow handle like this on Macs before, but I haven't had a lot of Mac tools. It looks like somebody's resharpened that, but it still worked good for a while. Then we also have a couple of these. Uh, I would say damaged handles. <laughs> Uh, that one looks like it got put under something that was very heavy. And I believe this is a scratch-all. The, uh, the end of it's a little bit uh, worn, but probably still works. Uh, we also have this um, broken handle um, snap-on, I would imagine. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I could take the good handle that I, you saw before and put on something like this, although this tip on here is not only bent... But it looks like it's been reground. All right, next up we have this little stubby uh, flat tip. And then, as I learned recently <laughs> from my one of my recent tool holes, uh, this is a headlamp uh, spring tool. Then we have this big snap on, must be a number four Phillips. We have another stubby. Let's see if I can see a name. I don't see a name on that. It looks like a snap-on, but I don't believe it is. And then we have another scratch-all here. This tip looks a little bit better, and of course the handle looks a lot better. I have a number three Phillips on this one. Sorry about the focus here. I, I think it's maybe trying to pick up on the other stuff in the background. Of course, that's a snap-on as well. And then we have a slotted flat tip, but this is not a snap-on tool. Uh, there's a lot of tools that are knockoffs of snap-on. This is one of them. I can just tell by the way that the plastic is seamed, molded, pressed, whatever. Uh, it looks just like an old snap-on. It's just not. This is a snap-on. This is a big flat tip another large flat tip snap on wait no this is not a snap on this is another one of those knockoffs see how it's got this line going all the way down it yeah snap ons don't have that I've never seen a snap on with that and I've had hundreds of their screwdrivers and then last is this snap on uh, number two with a long shank on it See what the part number is if we can. Can't quite make it out. But that's probably about a 10 inch shank on that one. <coughs> and the last thing in this box, which is very interesting, um, these were not in the box in the photos. I don't know if somebody slipped these in here trying to buy the box with these in it, or they fell on the ground and someone put them back in this box. I have no idea. Um, when I go to pick up, they load me up. I just put the stuff in the car and I drive away. Um, so I don't even expect the tools to see if everything's there because there's not really anything you can do about it if it's not. But I found these pictures extremely interesting. Um, they're dated uh, in the 1950s. I see 58 and 59. And it has like these uh, military, um, well, I mean, it has military looking weapons, but it just looks like some individual was stockpiling. Um, if we go through them quick here, we can see just like an ammo case and all sorts of ammo in the background. Obviously that guy's uh, looking for trouble. <laughs> and there he is again. 
And then we have some uh, real interesting looking guns. I don't know a lot about guns. I, I could never tell you what any of these are. Uh, if you know them, go ahead and drop it down in the in the comments. But I have one coming up that's really interesting to me. And that's this one here. I don't know if anyone can identify that particular rifle. But, uh, I mean, my best guess is it's not made in the U.S. Um, and I, it's, it's very interesting. It's got a lot of interesting stuff connected to it apparatus or whatever you want to call it another one with the uh, ammo and the shells and here's one with a bunch of handguns and and I don't know if those are like little uh, I don't know if you want to call them machine guns but they look like they're foreign made if I had to guess and there's the last photo so yeah if you want to if you know what these are, just go ahead and drop some comments. And then moving on to the last box, it's uh, lot 651. And lot 651 is screwdrivers, hand staplers, and hand tools. And that one was $25. So this is stuff I like to buy just because I like to see what's in it. <laughs> um, usually there's stuff in it I've never seen before. and So I'll just take a shot at something like this. I could see there was a snap-on screwdriver and obviously some Craftsman screwdrivers, but uh, I found this uh, stapler really interesting. It's a uh, cling tight and never heard of that brand before, but I really like the styling on it, the design. Um, something I'm just going to probably keep and put on a shelf just because I think it looks cool. And then we just have a, this one's an Ace Clipper, Ace Fastener. Uh, depending on what size of staples this shoots out, I might be able to use this. Um, been looking for a heavier duty stapler for some boxes And then we have another one of these hand staplers. This one's pretty heavy I've never heard of that brand before And maybe that one's a heavy duty stapler. I'll have to find out looking for something that's a staple like when you have a, a Cardboard seam staple that seam together. I know I can find them online, but yeah, if I get one in a box that works This is an old wire strippers here um, let's see if I can make out the name Whit, uh, I see Whitaker Cable Corporation, and is it Speedex? Speedex Wire Stripper? These are always handy, I, I, I kind of like these the best. I've accumulated quite a few now, some work better than others, but this one has a cool look to it for sure. Uh, here is some sort of, uh, crimper i believe made by uh amp i don't know if it, it's i don't know if it's amp or if they say amp all together um looks like the number is 20 2218 it says i don't know if that says type d um these crimpers can uh get pretty expensive a lot of crimpers like this will be anywhere from 30 to 100 dollars so, I mean, I have no use for it, so I'll sell it. But uh, it's that's kind of the reason why I buy boxes like this. I mean, I'll get more out of this than what I paid for the whole box. So, well, likely. This here is a, looks like T&B tie wrap. Is that focused on there? Uh, T&B is likely Thomas and Beth. They usually had the multicolor handles on them as well. I would guess this is some sort of uh, tool for... Um, tightening up cables or straps i don't know if it has a cutter on there anywhere but uh interesting little tool here we do have a snap-on screwdriver it's a ssd6 i think that says won't focus on there this is a nice looking flat tip very good condition screwdriver here we have a nipper It's got a C on that side. I was going to say it probably is a Craftsman. Usually Craftsman, they're stamped with that, they'll stamp that C on one side. This is an older style logo. And looks like the blade's still in really good shape. I don't know if these handles are original to this tool. Could be. But the, it's an old uh, C stamp on there. So I didn't know these were in there. That's a nice little set. And then, we, of course, we have some Craftsman screwdrivers flat tips I 
And we got another one here. This is a screw holding screwdriver by Craftsman, I believe. Yep, there it is. What do they call it there? They call it a screw. Oh yeah, screw holding. We got another flat tip here, another one here. You can usually tell uh, their flat tips just by how they're colored, like uh, just the red and the clear. Uh, usually um, the Phillips will have a different handle. I think the Phillips are just blue and clear. Like this one here, the Phillips. Now this here, I've had a few. I don't know what the proper name, I don't know if it's just like offset screwdriver. I hear electricians like to use these uh, when they're taking off the uh, little plates on the outlets. I guess they work good one-handed and they're fast. This one looks like it's brand new. Little no-name pry bar here. Got a rigid little pipe cutter. Always handy to have these around. All right, this looks like a no-name screwdriver, if I had to guess. That's a Promate. This is an Ace. Now, the older Ace hardware screwdrivers, I actually collect those. They had almost like a, a winged logo. This is a no-name. This is an old Stanley. Here's a Craftsman uh, Precision screwdriver. phone is having a little the camera's having a little bit of a hard time focusing today i don't know if it's the uh 35 degree weather out here or if it's just all the background image is is messing it up here's a winds friction proofing screwdriver a little pocket screwdriver this is a little wire stripper uh, probably made by miller if i had to guess uh can't quite tell what the name is I know they were branded under a few different brands. Here's a, a piece going right in the garbage. Uh, this one will probably follow it. It's got a stamp there that I'm uh, not familiar with. We got a cushion grip Phillips. Uh, no name screwdriver. Here's a junk screwdriver. These will probably hit the trash. And here's an old master mechanic, but somebody destroyed the tip on that one. A couple of wood handle, wood handle screwdrivers. And I was hoping I saved the best for last, so I guess we're about to find out. I think this one here says True Craft. I can't quite make it out. I guess it's a little water pump pliers. This here is a Whitaker. Uh, Whitaker number 1047. Nice handle, nice nice uh, quality. Uh, definitely looks like some sort of a crimper. Oh, here's another matching pliers to the first uh, the focus on there. It is a true craft, so the other one was a true craft. And these were made in Japan. Here's another one marked Japan, a little side cutter, diagonal cutter. Oh, this is the Craftsman Japan BF. Huh. I don't think I've ever had a Japan-made Craftsman side cutter before. I've had the wrenches, and uh, I didn't even know they made side cutters over there. Um, now, they sold the U.S. brand and the Japan brand's at the same time, I want to say that uh, the Japan stuff was sold um, outside of Sears, um, but I, I'd have to I'd have to check my data on that. I'm I'm not sure about that. All right, we have a Bell Systems little cutter here. Oh, it's a Klein, and it's got that little divot in there. Now, I don't know if it was sold that way. Or if somebody made it that way, but I think that's 
for a wire stripper. I think some of the electricians would put a little notch in the cutter and that way they could uh, just strip a wire with it real quick. This here definitely looks like a crimper of some sort. It is marked made in the USA and the brand I think that says R-A-J-A-N or I think that's a J I don't know if it's a T so I've never heard of that brand I've never seen uh, crimpers like this but uh, those could be interesting might be worth something uh, there's a little socket down here a little craftsman four millimeter uh, a little six point I believe and then finally in this box is a pliers and if I'm seeing that correctly I believe that's a diamond horseshoe pliers those are always good quality pliers looks like the cutter is still in very good condition so that's everything from this haul thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one